Ramayana is an ancient Indian epic poem, and as the title suggests, the hero is the divine Prince Rama. The woman who becomes his wife is named Sita, and while she plays a very significant part in the narrative, she isn't the main focus of attention. This patriarchal view of the story has been challenged by an exciting new stage production, and Karusha went off to find out how a million Sitas had come about. For two decades, the Jumba Contemporary Dance Experience has showcased the talents of internationally acclaimed performers for Durban Arts lovers. One of the highlights of the 20th anniversary edition was undoubtedly the staging of Anita Ratnam's extraordinary production, A Million Sitas. With rehearsals in progress, Karisha took the opportunity to chat to the festival's artistic director, Leanne Lutz. Leanne, welcome to Mela. Thank you very much for having us. Congratulations on 20 years of Jumba. It's an amazing legacy and which is why we've actually decided to call this festival Legacy in celebration of 20 years of just making, supporting, nurturing, growing dance in Durban and in South Africa. How did you go about choosing a million sitas specifically? Anita Ratnam is one of the most important global icons in terms of contemporary Indian dance. For us to have someone who has broken boundaries and crossed over borders from traditional dance into contemporary dance, we felt would really speak to audiences yeah, and a very strong focus on gender issues and the notion of really using her art to, to speak to social issues. And apart from which, she's just the most beautiful, beautiful dancer and choreographer. And so to have her work is a huge honor for the festival. And where do you see the future of Jumba? The festival, we hope, will have another 20 years. It's always dependent on funding. But the idea is just to keep growing and to keep finding spaces to intersect and cross over borders with artists who are making this extraordinary work. Anita was accompanied by percussionists Rivash Duki and Mandla Macha, bringing an Indo-African beat to the performance. Hi guys, how are you? Hi, we are good, thank you. So tell me what it's like working with Mandla and being able to create music with the two different instruments. We had to do a lot of coordination in order to get the sequences in order. And at the end of the day, it just boiled down to basic rhythms that we managed to fuse together to produce the production. What is it like working on A Million Sitas? She's a very wonderful artist and you can really get absorbed when she presents her art. I bring what I know and then Anita puts it into her character. Anita, tell us about the themes that you explore in A Million Sitas. As the title suggests, it is Sita and the sorority of her sisters in this wonderful tale, the Ramayana. This story has been told through centuries, but what I've done is tell the story from Sita's point of view and four other women. I've tried to give them flesh and dimension and personality. Nobody's perfect, everybody's a flawed character, and that's what makes this work very interesting. You're described as an intersectionist and you've studied so many different disciplines. How are you able to interweave them all? Well, I have a degree in English literature and theater and classical dance and women's studies. I have a lifetime of yoga. I've studied martial arts and meditative arts. So I don't use everything in my physical vocabulary and what's imprinted on my muscle memory into my work today, then I'm not using my full potential. I try to make my work accessible to international audiences and specifically younger audiences. I have my children in mind whenever I create a work and I ask myself, will this be interesting for them? Not for my generation, but for theirs. How is it being a part of Jumba? Well, I'm a great admirer of Leanne Lutz. I think she walks the talk. I think she has amazing determination, great grit, and she doesn't give up. And I think it's because I admire her so much that I said yes to Jomba. I met her last year in Cape Town, and that's how the invitation happened. So we've had to work hard from our side to sort of meet the possibility of coming here with my team of three. And how do you feel that A Million Sitas adds to the experience of Jumba? Well, to start with, I have many South African elements that I've introduced for the very first time in A Million Sitas. I've used the Indibele, which is a beautiful necklace. It's a South African beadwork. So wherever I go, I try to incorporate something from the local culture because visual references, oral references of something that is from that particular culture tends to immediately open a door in the hearts and the minds of the audience. Where does your 
your passion come from? I think I have a bubble of curiosity inside of me that always wants to learn and discover. There's a part of me that's like a wide-eyed young girl trying to absorb everything. But I hope I never lose this. And I hope that is what keeps the artist in me alive, the woman in me alive, and I think the little girl in me alive. By bringing Anita and her production to the festival, Durban was stealing a march on the four US cities on the artist's international tour itinerary. And the members of the audience knew that something special awaited them. The Ramayana is an epic poem dating back to some two millennia. And at nearly 24,000 verses in length, it poses a daunting challenge to anyone attempting to adapt it for the stage. For a million sitas, Anita had focused on her title character, who is the wife of Rama, the main character of the tale. Sita is the avatar of the goddess Lakshmi and is considered to be a model of female virtue and purity. seep through your skin through your skin i am sita and so are you all of you we are a million sitas a during the course of the performance sitas. anita portrayed not only sita but also the women she encounters while the original epic portrayed them as secondary characters this work presented them as people with individual personalities and everyone in the audience had plenty to think about and discuss long after they had left their seats. She brings an extraordinary tale of an epic journey, brings it to life in the most complex ways, but with the intense humility and spirituality, and I, I really, really enjoy the work. I think she's uh, brought something new, a new approach to Indian dance. The production was absolutely brilliant. Uh, it made us look at the uh, Ramayana in a totally uh, different way, from a different uh, point of view. I think it was a fantastic idea by Anita Ratnam to take a very respected, devoted, treasured epic, the story of Ramayana, break barriers, don't be scared, and she was very bold and brave to interpret that. Although the story of Ram and Sita has been told many, many times, this narrative highlights the role of woman thus making us all a million seaters.